Hello my friends, welcome back to the woodshed. Um, I got some requests to do a song in open D. So we're gonna do that today. Um, open D is a really sweet and wonderful tuning for dobro. It's kind of just like having another language. So I love open G so much for so many things. And then I love open D for other things so that sometimes are harder to say <laughs> in open G. So um, the song I'd like to teach you is one that I wrote called uh, Too Soon. And I want to teach you this because it's slow and pretty and you can really just work on the tone and the melody for this song. Um, and that will serve you for as long as you play in any song at any speed. So it's a really good place to start. So the tuning from the bottom up and I'm going to do a more detailed uh, video about introduction to open D tuning. Um, so you can check that out. I'll, I'll link it somewhere below or maybe above however this works. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll just give you the brief introduction here. It's the lowest string is a, is a D, and then it's an A, D, F sharp, A, and D. So it's a different order than G tuning, but it's still an open chord. You get that nice full chord. The one, threes, and fives are in different orders, but they're still there with that open chord. And similarly, um, your four chord is right at that fifth fret, and your five chord is at your seventh fret. So if you think in one, four, five, um, that'll really help you kind of transition between open G and open D. So, like I said, if you want to know more about Open D, definitely check out that other uh, video that is the introduction to Open D. But let's get going on this melody. I'll play it for you first and then I'll break it down for you. Like a freight train shook the ground as they carried my darling back home. Too soon, too soon, she was taken too soon, taken from this world. So that's basically how it goes. The verse is goes from the one to the five, back to the one. Sometimes, helicopter. Uh, sometimes I like to leave that top string open when I go to the five chord, and it gives kind of a suspended sound. It just sounds kind of cool. There's some really nice voicings you can get in this tuning, so. All right. So here it goes, here's the melody to it. Let's work on that phrase first. So you're gonna, it's gonna start on this fifth string. You're gonna hammer on to the second fret and then play the fourth string open. Just like that. Hammer on, zero two, and the open fourth string. The next thing you're going to do is slide from the second fret to the fourth fret of the fourth string. Just like that. Let's try that together. And sometimes I like to have that droning bottom string just to make it sound like, okay, we're still on the root chord. Fills it out. It let, if anybody else is playing with you, they know. Okay, we're still on the root, so that's good. So that's the first phrase. Then we're gonna go back down from the fourth fret, right where you are, down to the second fret. Oops. <laughs> so four, two, open, and then hit it again. So together it goes. And I like 
like to put a little bit of nice vibrato on that uh, when I get up to the fourth fret especially because it's a longer note. And one key to having really good tone, um, really in any tuning, is to kind of relax your hand. If you're too stiff, the tone is going to be kind of, it's going to sound stiff. So. Um, it, the more gently you can um, use the bar and even hold the bar, the more gentle your sound is going to be. So. so the first phrase is, the second phrase is much like the first phrase. So the first phrase... Now the second phrase. So the only difference really is that you end up landing on that fifth string open instead of the fourth string open. Also the rhythm is slightly different as you're walking down. Is the first phrase and the second phrase is. So here we go, th those two phrases together. And then the third time around goes like this. That's when you know you're going to a different chord. You're going to the five chord right there. Uh, and I almost messed it up <laughs> in the introduction, so. <laughs> helicopters today. Oh, goodness. Hopefully you can still hear me. So let's do that again. So the third phrase, the first phrase goes up and slides down to that open D string. The second phrase goes up but goes down to the that second the, the fifth string which is an open A. And then the third time around we're going to a D chord. So you can do that right here just by using the open fifth string and second fret on the fourth string or you can go up to the seventh fret for that five chord and then it just does a fourth fret I know this sounds a little weird right now it sounds like oh, why is she playing that it sounds like a wrong note it's just um, it's a seventh chord that kind of will cue you back into the root so it's kind of, you want that little bit of rub so that you have a resolution afterwards. All right, so let me play all those phrases together just so you have it in context. First one. Second one. Third one. for the rest of the, the, the kind of B section of the song or the refrain, starts the same. But then we go to the fourth fret. Um, and I love this chord. And I just kind of play the lower notes of that whole chord. And then, so we're going from the, um, the three chord to the four chord. This is a three major chord to the four chord. And then down to the one. And then you... <laughs> I can't win here. There's motorcycles and helicopters. Guys, help me out. Find me a house in Nashville where it's quiet. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, so we, where was I? We're going up to the, th the three chord. Up to the four chord. And, th and then the same basic very phrase that we did at the beginning finishes it up. Up to the five chord. All right, so let me put this in context because it's getting a little wonky here. I heard a low moaning sound right. Okay. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> so um, you can play along to the record. I recorded this very, very slowly. So um, I believe it's on a record called Hope, and it's at the end. Uh, so I recorded it really slowly with an organ, so playing along shouldn't be a problem for you. It's in the key of D, just like I'm teaching you here. So um, you can kind of hear the variations in that. And uh, I look forward to seeing if you want to make a version of your self with your friends that would be so cool I would love to hear it and see how it sounds um, it's really fun it's sort of like a it has that gospel kind of funeral sound um, to honor somebody who leaves too soon so uh, it's really fun to play with a lot of people and to get everyone singing together there's a lot of repetition so it's very simple a lot of repetition um, a lot of chance for you to just drag out those pretty dobro notes um, you can also later on in the song you can play it up an octave as you know if you learn the bottom strings you can learn the top strings so um, that's on the bottom and the top two strings you're gonna get a different kind of tone so um, I would encourage you to do that too, kind of find those, those same patterns. You're going to see that it's the same frets. And it just has this richness with the big bottom bass note. So uh, I hope you have fun with this song. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I'm happy to uh, answer them and to do other videos on other songs. So have fun and I hope I get to play with you at a campfire sometime. See you later. <laughs>